Hi Aries, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate. If the message is not for you, leave it for someone else. You can always check your other signs or check back next time. There are timestamps located in the description box as well as the comment section. You can skip ahead at any time by clicking on those timestamps. I'm going to start by pulling you an angel number. Now, Aries, I do feel like there's a situation where someone was rejected in the past. And this situation is being reflected upon. I feel like somebody regrets rejecting an offer. Okay, you have angel number 66. The affirmation is I am positive. So your guides are wanting you to keep a positive mindset. It says your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. So sixes could mean something to you right now. You could be seeing a lot of sixes. Do you feel like there's a transition you're going through in November? Yeah, look, somebody wants to communicate with you. I'm also seeing you arrive to your destination. That immediately popped in my head. You have arrived at your destination. But I heard it twice. You have arrived at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. We have the Hierophant as well. This is all about your beliefs, sharing your knowledge. You know, the thing about beliefs is we all choose what to believe. It's up to you. We manifest our reality. I am seeing somebody here that feels like they made an impulsive decision. What exactly is the tower? Yeah, that's what I was getting. Somebody that is connected to you energetically feels like they may have reacted too quickly, whether this is ran off too quickly or said something without thinking it through. But it definitely feels like this person, they feel like they have uh, created a disaster. I'm getting someone actually, like, I'm surprised the judgment card isn't out because I'm also getting, like, somebody here is, ref like, they're self-evaluating and they're coming to this conclusion that their decisions, the decisions they make, no matter how small, really do impact their life in a big way with the tower. And so they've really been reflecting on that. The decisions they made in the past were bad decisions. I'm also getting, you know, the universe is wanting you to stay positive with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, your inner desires. Some of you guys may have fallen into the trap of negative thinking. What's one, once you fall into that trap, it's very hard to get out. However, you can actively counter-react a negative thought with a positive thought. As corny as that sounds, it does work. But someone is with the tower, that's someone coming to a revelation. Okay? Someone feels like they may have jumped to conclusions in the past. We have the two of cups wanting to come out. Somebody wanting to have a heart to heart conversation with you. I see a proposal coming in. This, this talks about engagement, marriage. Okay. Mutual respect, really. Knight of cups in reverse. The interesting part is, you know, this is somebody that you were, that was lying in the past. So I'm getting like unrequited love in the past, but now they want to, now they, now they are returning your affections. 
The unrequited love, I feel like, comes from this person having a hard time loving themselves. They had a hard time uh, trusting love, trusting their own feelings. This is definitely somebody who runs away from the way they feel that is coming towards you. Yeah, Six of Cups. Something, there's definitely some childhood trauma here, guys. They were really neglected. I'm getting severely neglected as a child. So they have a hard time opening their heart space. They have a hard time allowing love in. But it's like this person is having a revelation with the tower. They're coming to some type of conclusion. And the Six of Cups indicates, you know, somebody returning to your life. And I'm getting like, you know, their higher self with the Hierophant. Their higher self is wanting you to help. They want your support. And again, it's up to you. It's up to you. Never give your power away to a tarot reading, okay? But I'm getting like, on an emotional level, you know, this person is hoping that you two can work something out. I'm just getting somebody wanting to breathe life back into a situation. Let's see what else wants to come out for you. Flow. Go with the flow of things. Allow allow situations to unfold naturally. I'm also getting listen to your intuition, Aries. Uh, listen to your gut reactions. How do you feel? How do how do certain situations and people make you feel? It's going to tell you everything you need to know. Balance. I do see you balancing out your emotions in November. You may need to get back to your roots, though, in order to do this. Be sure to do things that make you feel good, that make you feel free. I'm getting a sense of, like, freedom that you could be craving in the month of November. Don't be afraid to express yourself, either. Other people's reactions to who you are as a person, that's their problem. When we get so hung up on how other people want us to be, we're not living for ourselves. We start living for other people. And you want to try to stay away from that energy. Because that doesn't make you a free human. Anxiety. So you could be experiencing some anxiety due to like ascension symptoms here. And your guides are asking you to go with the flow Anxiety is, a unfortunately, a natural human emotion. I do see, though, those of you that experience really bad anxiety, I feel like your emotions will be balancing out in November. Possibly uh, with the flow card, you know, getting out or exercising or, you know, being in touch with yourself and your own emotions. I'm also getting a lot of you, Aries, you have anxiety, but it's like, a lot of this, uh, a lot of these feelings are really not even yours. Uh, you definitely are someone who absorbs the emotions of other people around you. Be sure to call all your energy back to you every night and be sure to cleanse yourself, okay? Cleanse your energy. I'm just getting an, uh, it feels to me like some of you guys are absorbing a lot of other people's emotional baggage and it's all this energy floating around in your spirit is creating anxiety your guys are really wanting you to balance that out several ways to do that follow your own intuition and what your belief system is around that i will say moving your body is very good for that eating a well-balanced diet We have anxiety and we have death. Some of you guys are, might be anxious about that right now. Or anxious towards a transformation. I'm going to tell you, Aries, right? You guys are, the reason why you're anxious is because you're going through a spiritual transformation. 
We have strength. You're getting stronger. Intuition. Some of you guys may having you may be having a hard time trusting your intuition because you feel blocked, but it's the anxiety that is blocking it. It's the second guessing yourself that is blocking your intuition. So how do we overcome that? Well, when we act on intuition, we strengthen that intuition. So it's kind of like taking a leap of faith with your intuition. And every time you act on an, uh, an intuition or, you know, an intuitive hit, every time you act on that and you come, you turn out to be correct or you turn out to enter the right path, you will strengthen your intuition. So your guides are really wanting you to strengthen your intuition by acting on your intuition, listening to it and acting accordingly. I can't unsee this. Some of you guys can be very anxious about death right now. And the reason why that's happening is because you need to practice some spirituality. Okay, uh, if you are anxious about death or fearing death, it doesn't say fear, it just says anxious about it. I feel like, you know, it could be your belief system, your nervous system getting a hard hit here. So your guides are wanting you to balance that out by, you know, utilizing some spiritual practices here. Our spirit never dies, Aries. All right. We're going to take a look at the singles, Aries. What do the single Aries need to surrender to? What do the single Aries need to surrender to? Okay. Surrender to your intuition. If you didn't watch the first message, go back and watch it. Every time we act on our intuition, guys, we strengthen our intuition. So you could be having a hard time trusting your intuition. You could feel separated from your intuition. And that's what's causing all the anxiety. It says, tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. You are so powerful, Aries. But there are dark energies that don't want you to believe in your power. So there could be some forces working against you right now to prevent you from stepping into your full power. So acknowledge that. Um, you could be going through a spiritual attack. It's not, it's not, don't be afraid of that. We all face that, but I am getting the anxiety coming to you. It, it feels like a spiritual attack. So do what you can to rid this energy. Whatever your personal practices are, exercise is a really good one. Drinking a lot of water is a good one. Um, I also like to put Himalayan salt in some holy water. You can say a prayer protection over some water and create the holy water yourself. Put some Himalayan salt in it. Place it underneath your bed when you go to sleep. It will pull all of that negative energy out and replace it with positive energy. Now... Make sure you don't have animals that can go under the bed because it's dangerous for an animal to drink that water. I just want to throw that out there, but your guides are wanting you to surrender to your intuition. How do people, places, or situations make you feel? Single Aries, please. Your gut's telling you something. I keep looking at that card. Your gut is telling you something, Aries, about a person, place, or thing. Be mindful, Aries, of uh, 
I'm, I'm also, I'm, I'm getting like, be mindful of misunderstandings right now. I feel like the devil's working overtime. The devil is working overtime trying to keep people separated. The devil is working overtime trying to keep people to, you know, from being friendly with each other, from working together. So just be mindful of that. That could be a part of the spiritual attack. Single Aries, please. Look at that spiritual growth. You're going through a spiritual transformation, Aries. And while you start to elevate, it's when you are about to enter your highest timeline, the devil wants to attack. Wants to make you second guess yourself. It wants to fill you with doubt. It wants to make you feel like everything. It wants to make you feel like your desires are too much. It wants you to feel like you're not worthy of what it is you want. But you are. You are worthy of it. So just know that if you're getting spiritually attacked right now, that just means you are ascending. That just means that you are about to elevate to a very high frequency. And the devil just wants to stop that from happening. But you're resilient, okay? You're going to persevere. You're going to make it through this, okay? Tell me more. Friendship. Beautiful. I got chills. Destiny. Dating queen. If you put yourself out there, I do see you meeting connections, okay? I do see a connection that's going to feel as if it is meant to be. You could start off as friends first. But it looks like there's somebody around you that knows one of your friends. They're an acquaintance of one of your friends. Or they're a friend of one of your acquaintances. But this is just a message that everything that is happening, just trust it. And I know that can be incredibly hard. But it's like, trust the process. Surrender to divine timing. Because the connections that are coming into your life, they're playing a bigger role than you think. And what is for you will happen for you. When it's meant to happen for you. You're not going to miss out on anything, Aries. Who is this person that's coming towards Aries, please? Who is this new love that's coming towards Aries? Single Aries, please. I do see you developing a friendship with somebody. Very close friendship. Who is this new person that's coming towards Aries? Knight of Wands in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius, but this is someone who does not like games. They're actually very decisive. Knight of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that is looking to settle down. They're tired of the dating life. King of Wands, yeah. They don't want to keep dating around. This is someone that wants to get serious, and they see something they want in you with that King of Wands. I feel like this is someone that wants to leave that lifestyle behind. Lovers, Gemini energy could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Gemini. Tell me more about the lovers. It's going to feel like it's meant to be, okay, especially with this destiny card. This is a soulmate coming towards you, a strong soulmate. One that wants to be vulnerable with you. Look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. So, guys, this is someone that wants a partnership, a lifelong partnership. And they have really grown, okay? Knight of Wands in reverse to the King of Wands. Now, this person has had their fair share of, like, childish moments. They've had their fair share of fun and games and having player ways in the past. But this is definitely someone who is wanting to leave behind that lifestyle and get serious with you. They want someone that they can build a life with. The will of fortune is bringing this in. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. What do they like about Aries? I think they like everything about you, Page of Swords. They like what they see. 
They like who you are as a person. They like your communication. They feel like you're direct and upfront. So what are you going to like about them? What are you going to like about them, Aries? They're fun to be around. Look at this. You really like how you have a strong friendship with this person first. So it's kind of like you guys develop that really strong bond. That's that bond of friendship. And when you have this, as you're falling in love with someone and you have that strong bond of friendship, this bond is unbreakable. So you really like how you can just hang out with this person. You can be friends with this person. You feel like you can have a good time and be yourself. I'm also getting, if you have uh, close friends, Aries, they, you and your friends, everyone just gets along. And everyone, they get along with it. Like this person just gets along with your family, your friends. Why the Nine of Swords? You're fearing you'll never have this. There's something inside of you, Aries, that you really need to be healing, okay? It's a thought process. It gives you anxiety. It makes you feel like you're unworthy of this type of special connection. When you are worthy, you don't have to have it if you don't want it. You hold all the power. This is coming in. But your guides are wanting you to heal this thought process. Your guides are wanting you to stop telling yourself that you're unworthy. And most importantly, your guides are wanting you to know that you're not alone. You are not alone, Aries. You're never alone. With the friendship card, I will say there are people who are wanting to connect to you, but for your own personal reasons, okay, that need to be healed, you may keep these people uh, away from you. Maybe you're afraid of getting betrayed which is perfectly understandable, but they're, you know, your guides are wanting you to wash away that mindset. What you do with that information is up to you. Yeah. Cause some of you guys are limiting yourself with the eight of swords, the empress, the page of pentacles. There's a new thought process that needs to happen. That's going to be a manifesting more abundance into your life and more romance. If you want it. But you got to get out of your own way. And you can take baby steps with this page of pentacles. Be, take baby steps. Okay. You don't have to change everything overnight. Okay. That's very overwhelming to do. With, I mean, look at that. The nine of swords. Above all else, look, high priestess, trust your own intuition on things. Listen to the way people make you feel. However, Spirit's also telling me that there's an energy here of paranoia. And the devil wants you to confuse paranoia with your own intuition. So there needs to be a balance between that. And Page of Pentacles is like figuring out how you can listen and trust your intuition. I gotta tell you though, it feels like it's really hard but that's how it's coming to me. It looks like a great co connection coming in. There are several ways to heal your heart chakra. Okay, there are several videos here on YouTube that you can look up. But that's what your guides are wanting you to pay attention to. Only take what resonates. Okay, we're going to take a look at the person you're dealing with. So if you're not currently having any issues with anyone, this reading will not be for you. There is a timestamp in the description box in the comment section if you want to skip ahead past the shuffling.
Who was Aries thinking about? Who is this person on Aries' mind? We don't trust them. You have put a wall up to this person. The lovers could be a Gemini for some of you, or this is just someone that you have strong feelings for and you don't quite understand why because you know they're not trustworthy. Could be paranoia for some of you, but others of you, if you've seen something, uh, if you saw or ha were betrayed by somebody and you saw it, then yeah, you have perfectly reasonable. That's perfectly reasonable, right? You see them as immature. A lot of you guys just feel like this person did not prioritize you. They're immature. They may have been communicating a little bit with you and always left you feeling unsure where they stood with you. Some of you guys have stretched such strong emotions for somebody. You just don't even trust your own emotions for this person. Queen of Swords in reverse. I see you was angry with them. You may have said something. Okay. How do they feel about Aries? They want a new beginning with you. They want to clear the air. You know, this is somebody that they, so it's like this person knows they were sending you mixed signals. It's kind of, it was intentional, okay, because they didn't know what they wanted. And I do feel like, Aries, you're correct. This person did have multiple options with the two of pentacles, the lovers, and then all the seven of cups clarifying the ace of pentacles. They were confused as to what direction to choose. But now they want a fresh start with you. So why the change of heart? I feel like this person, you know, and again, that's where the you feelings of being rejected by somebody come in. Like you feel like this person was not taking your offer, but now they want it back. They want it back on the table. So the sudden change of heart comes from recent struggles they've been facing. Self-reflection. Somebody was not, I feel like this person is realizing that there is a lot of people out there that do not have your energy. Six of Pentacles. They don't give to a connection the way you do. And so they've been reflecting on how they pushed you away. They pushed away a generous person, a kind and generous person. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo for some of you. We also have Libra, Gemini, Earth and Water. And they want to make up, guys. Three of Swords, the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. They do want to heal this. They're hoping that you still have one foot in the door. They're hoping that they haven't ruined it all together. What are their next actions towards Aries? No longer waiting. They're coming towards you. Their actions are to, uh, you know, no longer keep this at a standstill. Yeah, look at that. Three of Wands, they're traveling towards you. They could be traveling towards you uh, right now. But this is November's energy. Yeah, they want to come out of the cold. Five of Pentacles in reverse, the strength in reverse. They want to give in. 
what will you do, you know? Because it's up to you. What's Aries advice? What is Aries advice? Okay, well, the four of pentacles in reverse. Don't hold a grudge. I mean, take that how it resonates, but your advice is to not hold a grudge. Don't hold back on what it is you want to say. Don't hold back on how you feel when this person comes in. Give it to them straight. You have a flyer. Okay, and then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Just don't hold back on the way you feel and what you believe. Okay. It's an energy of like, you know, make them take you seriously. How do you make someone take you seriously? You speak up and firmly. Let's see what their hidden truth is. What is their hidden truth towards Aries? They're having a hard time reaching out. Why is that? Okay. I wish we could go back. I miss seeing you. Why are they having a hard time reaching out? King of Swords. Your reaction. Tell me more about that King of Swords. They think that you're going to be very harsh towards them when they do reach out. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person is afraid of what it is you have to say. Now, however, it's telling me their next actions, it's to travel towards you. But then we have a card that says, I can't reach out. So this whole time that they have not been reaching out, it's due to their own insecurities with the Five of Pentacles on what it is you have to say. Because this is an energy of somebody knowing that you are serious. They left you out in the cold. And, you know, the King of Swords, that's that logical energy. Like, any logical person, any rational person, when they're left out in the cold, what do you think they're going to do when someone comes back into their life? And that's their thought process behind it. A lot of them feel like you're going to reject them. And it's an, almost an energy of, like, they feel like they may waste their time. That's why they haven't reached out yet. They, want, they wish they could go back and do something differently. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Earth energy, water energy. Could be another fire sign for some of you. All right, cross watchers. So this is if you're dealing with this sign, Aries. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. Okay, Aries, if you're dealing with another Aries, this Aries is coming forward. That Aries has been distant. They're coming forward. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they want to reunite. Some of you singles are going to meet a Taurus where there is a close friendship that develops before you two become a thing. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini is burdened. Ten of Wands. The Gemini is stressing out about the connection. Seven of Wands. The Gemini is very defensive and is refusing to take accountability at this time. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer wants to communicate. I see a Cancer spontaneously messaging you or coming towards you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo wants to communicate. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants to communicate. Eight of Wands. 
If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra wants to communicate. Page of Swords, what is going on? The Libra spies on you and they want to communicate with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Death card. In this particular Death card, it says Rebirth, but let's see. Clarify the Death card. They want to uh, bring this back to life. We have Temperance and Death. So there has been an ending with a Scorpio. This person would like to make peace with you. They would like to bring harmony back. to. The, they just want to make amends. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want a new beginning with you. Very interested in you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Five of Swords. Capricorn is only interested in having the upper hand. Capricorn is willing to do anything just to win an argument or have the upper hand. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius is acting single, independent, non-committal. If you're dealing with an uh, Pisces, the Pisces wants you, the sun. Pisces really likes you and sees a future with you. All right, Aries, those are your messages. If this brought you some clarity, I do appreciate you hitting that thumbs up. Thank y'all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, bye.